Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Technology and today in this video tutorial I will show you guys how to fix standard hardware security is not supported so on your windows computer so I will show you guys how to fix that issue so simply follow my step. So at first you just need to enable DEP which is also known as data execution prevention so for that you just need to go to your start window and type windows security after that open windows security and click on app and browser control from left side. On your right side, scroll down and click on exploit protection settings over here, as you can see. So click on that. Now here you will get under system settings, option called DEP. So make sure that it is use default on. Okay. So make sure that it is on. And after that, close this window. Next, you just need to check your virtualization is enabled or disabled. For that, you just need to right click on your start menu and click on task manager. Now from your left side, you just need to click on performance and if you click on CPU, you will see option called virtualization over here and it is enabled in my case. If it is in your case, it is disabled, then you have to enable it for from your BIOS. So after that, you just need to go to your BIOS and here you just need to enable and disable few settings. So just go to your settings on your um, BIOS settings. And after that, here on this window, you will get all the all your settings like advanced boot and security. So you just need to uh, go to your security option first. And here you will get option called trusted computing, which is also known as TPM. So just go under that option and make sure that TPM, your TPM device is enabled. And in my case, it is enabled already. And TPM device selection is FTPM 2.0 selected as in my case. So you have to select that option. Now go to your secure boot option and you just need to enable secure boot option if it is already usable on your case after that you just need to go back to your main menu and here you just need to go to uh, your advanced option under advanced option you will get a CSM uh, support option so you just need to disable that option so here in my case here it is as you can see in my case here I have selected UEFI option so make sure that CMS option is visible on your BIOS after that you just need to go to overclock settings and go to CPU features okay here it is as you can see under that Intel virtualization tech so make sure that it is enabled so maybe in your case uh, it is under settings advanced option so you can search it on Google okay and after that you just need to save, save all the settings and just start your PC and it will fix your problem. So after uh, start your computer still if it is not working for you then I will suggest you to reinstall your windows uh, computer and after that it will fix your problem. So you hope this quick tutorial really helped for you and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button, like button and share button and if you have any questions or questions then comments down below. I will see you guys in the next one next video. Till then bye bye take care.